How to you cousins? Recently I was asked how I go about polishing things like jewelry or silver plated things, stuff like that. I wanna give you a short video to show you exactly how I do it. Sometimes I just use a brush and some silver polish. Other times I use something a little heavier duty like a Dremel tool. I'm gonna to show you both ways real fast. Maybe this will help you out. Come on in. No, I'm talking about a rusty how to. cousins here what we got is a couple of things i'm gonna show you how two different ways to polish uh, something that's got silver this applies to jewelry and today we're going to be actually uh polishing part of these little salt and pepper shakers that are they look like dogs you can see they're quite tarnished pretty rough and dark you can see how black that is i've already done the bottom you can see how that shines up nice and bright Pretty nice there. So there's two different ways. Uh, I'm going to show you a slow way, more involved, and then I'm going to show you a faster way. What we're going to use first off, you got the thing you're going to polish. You got like a little toothbrush. You got a little, uh, you can use a napkin, you can use uh, paper towels, you can use a little cloth. And then I have something called Riot's Silver Cream because this is silver. It's just a bunch of goop. And so what you'll do is you just apply some of this on the end of your brush and then you just kind of work it in and scrub it. I'm going to use a toothbrush on this because it's so grooved. Now if you have something that's flat or something that's uh, smoother then you don't necessarily have to have something with bristles that will get down in the grooves. You could just use a rag or something like that. So I'm going to start off by showing you how to do this with just a toothbrush by hand. Then I'm going to move you over and show you how to do it with a Dremel. All right, so I got my cream here. Just gonna get a little bit of this on the old brush. And we'll just start on the bottom, on the side here. And it's very simple, guys. You just scrub on it. That's really all you do. And you can kind of see it gets a little bit messy. So I would recommend you get uh, maybe a newspaper or something like that. I'm doing it on a black surface here just uh, for contrast so you can see what I'm doing. And you know just how dark and tarnished that is. Uh, I'm just going to really work it in. And again, because this has got that texture to make it look like fur, that tarnish is down in those grooves. And so if you were just using a rag or something, it might be difficult to get down in there. Uh, also, I'm going to show you a fast way to do some polishing, even with the Dremel on something like this. It's not going to get down in those grooves. You'll have the outer surface be polished nicely, and then you'll have uh, the grooves still dark. So you need something like this to kind of get down in there. Let's pause for a moment. Let me wipe this off, and that way you can kind of see what we got so far. Already you can see that it's starting to shine up quite nicely. Much better on this side, as you can see, nice and slick and shiny as compared to this dark. Let's do it on the top here also so you can kind of see. Still got a little bit in there, but let's get a, a smidge more here. Just gonna, and this is really all you need to do, guys. Um... This will work on uh, anything that is you know, sterling silver, silver plated. One uh, caution for silver plate is that uh, plated means it's just coated in a very uh, thin amount of silver. And if you uh, polish too much or if, if it's polished too many times over time, it will eventually wipe all that silver off. Because what you're essentially doing is you're using this cream, but there's actually tiny grit in here. It's an abrasive. And so you're basically scratching off. The, the tarnish on here, and every time you polish a piece of silver, you're actually taking uh, very, very, very tiny amounts of that silver off. And so if it's a very thin coating of silver, or if you polish it too much, eventually that silver will deplete, and then you won't have the silver anymore. It'll just be the alloy underneath. As you can see here, and I, I really should be using gloves, but I didn't put them on for this demonstration. <clears throat> you can see how this is shining up real nicely. Eventually, guys, I'm going to get this whole thing to look nice and shiny. You can see there's still some dark down the grit. I just need to come after it a little bit more. Eventually, this thing will just shine. Now, let's take you over and show you how you can do it faster. And I'll demonstrate on one of these. I'll also demonstrate on a piece of silver plate uh, cutlery. All right, guys, I'm out in the garage here. What I'm going to be using today is a Dremel tool. This is the Dremel 7700. It's a cordless one, but you can use any kind, honestly, ones that are corded, uh, ones like this. You can even use heavier industrial ones that have a little motor and maybe a foot pedal, kind of like a sewing machine to turn it on or off. What you need is just this little attachment here uh, that you can see has this little screw. 
and a buffing wheel. I'm gonna use one that I've already used. They come in a variety of sizes and they're not that expensive. A lot of them come with in little kits uh, you can buy separately or even with the Dremel tools themselves. We've also got this uh, cream again. I'm just gonna take, all you have to do is screw this into place. You can see it with your fingers. You just screw that sucker in. I'm gonna hold this in place. You screw that up and on. There you go. And you can see if I turn it on, there's a high and a low on mine. So that's low, that's high. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the same piece that we were we were polishing earlier. You can see that's what it looks like when it's polished or getting closer to being polished. And this is what it looked like when I got it. Just almost black. It's been tarnished so bad. And so what we'll do, and I recommend before you do this, you know, wear something, you know, because there's going to be some of this goop kind of going around. Uh, and also in a place where, you know, it's easy to clean up, that kind of thing. But you can just see how quickly I'm going to go on low here, all right. But uh, I'm going to start it off kind of in here. And then I'm just going to apply it. And you can see already, let me turn it off, how quickly that has polishing that up. Now... You can see that that's polishing it, but again, the reason I use something like a brush is so you can get down inside the texture of that. It'll work with jewelry, it will work with silver plated silverware. This right here is a, a very heavily tarnished uh, spoon fork type thing. Uh, down in here, uh, in this section here, I don't know if it'll, it'll show up, but it says silver plated Italy. So again, all I'm gonna do is get a little of this junk on that wheel, okay? And then I'll place this on, on the tabletop here and you can kind of see I'm gonna go on high this time but look how quickly that polishes up look at that and there I am you can see me <laughs> super nice you can see all my tools here on the wall as well this is where I got all my stuff. But you know what, guys? This is a very fast and easy way to polish stuff. I recommend using a Dremel if you want to do something fast or if you have multiple pieces that you need to do. I have uh, something that, uh, like I said, is more industrial that I'll use whenever I have multiple pieces of jewelry that I need to polish all at once. But you don't just have to do this by hand. You certainly can, and I think it's kind of a fun a therapeutic practice to do it from time to time by hand. And there are certain cases like this where it is actually advantageous to do it. But if you want to go quickly and polish it right up real nice, get yourself a Dremel tool with a buffing wheel, and you'll be good to go. Hope that helps, folks. Rusty, rusty, rusty hair too.